With the credit union support, we were able to move forward with the new online storefront. We've grown pretty substantially and we're working towards being able to feed the boundary with food that's grown in the boundary. About 10 years ago, a passionate and dedicated group of environmentally and community-minded local food lovers realized that there was a need in the area for sourcing quality local agricultural products and supporting local farmers. We had an abundance of products grown right here and we wanted to open up marketing opportunities for these smaller local producers. Our values in the co-op include enhancing local food security, contributing to a more sustainable local economy, and limiting the impact that our food has on the environment. This food doesn't have to travel hundreds of kilometers, losing freshness along the way, making a big carbon footprint. We've expanded from solely farmers and ranchers to bakers and canners, chocolatiers, we have a local pasta maker, a local soap maker, coffee roasters, candle makers, and some beekeepers supplying us with some local honey. My name is Ahmed and Anne and I have Settle Down Organic Farm here in Grand Forks. We're going into our fourth season farming and we grow certified organic vegetables. We're both first generation farmers. We actually met on an urban farm in Vancouver seven years ago. Six. Six years ago? Are you sure? <laughs> six years ago? Okay. Yeah, six years today. <laughs> At Settle Down Organic Farm, we grow salad greens, spinach, carrots, beets, potatoes, garlic, onions, and anything else you can put in a salad. We find that the food co-op is a really great opportunity for small-scale producers to come together and share some of the costs that are associated with selling and distribution. We share the cost of renting a space downtown, of hiring a manager, providing home delivery, and of having a website that can accommodate many producers and many customers. So by selling through the food co-op, we can focus more time on growing and washing and packing vegetables and less time on selling and communications. So when the co-op started, we were an entirely volunteer online organization and startup capital was non-existent. So we went with a free system it was serving our purpose early on, but there were a lot of problems with it for both customers and producers. We realized if we were gonna advance and get better, we needed a new online ordering system. That's when the Grand Forks Credit Union stepped up and funded our new system. And within a month of receiving that funding from the credit union, we had a brand new functioning online ordering system up and running, and it was spectacular. The feedback was incredible. The producers found it easy to use and intuitive. Customers were using it more, and we have grown pretty substantially ever since. We have 150 new members and counting. Uh, we have 12 new producers and counting, so everything is really looking up. We even just started a delivery option, so you can have local food delivered right to your doorstep. If we can all strive to eat local, we'll all be better off, and ultimately, we're working towards being able to feed the boundary with food that's grown right here in the boundary, which we believe is a realistic goal.